Hey everybody, welcome back and happy new year. How are y'all feeling? I know it's only a few days in, but talk to me. Let me know how you feel. Okay, so today I'm going to do a cute little style for preteens. I'm starting with the Satin Shield Heat Protected. It is in stock right now. Um, like lately, every now and then I get a comment like, you should have your own product line. And guys, that's mine. Deeper than hair. <laughs> Deeper than hair products are mine. Whoever didn't know, now you know. Um, so first I'm just going to part out a section and we're just going to get to this blow dry. Um, like I said, I just did the heat protectant on her and you always, always, always want to use a heat protectant. I don't care what kind, just make sure you create a barrier between your hair and the high temperatures before you put any heat. I don't care if it's a blow dryer, flat iron, anything. So I'm just going to go in with this dryer. I still been looking for this dryer for everybody. <laughs> I've been on a wild goose chase just looking for our favorite dryer. Um, and one day I am going to have it for y'all. I will not rest until that situation is fixed. Now in the chair today, I have my girl Layla and when we did the video, she was 11, but she turned 12 soon after. So Layla's 12 and I just was like, let me do a little hairstyle. I've done a few kids on my channel and I always do adults, but I'm like, let's, let's hit up some people in the middle. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna try to make sure I do a little bit of age group styling, you know, just to give y'all a few ideas on how to do a little styling for different age groups. Now, as you see, Lay's hair is already shining. Nice, natural luster. I used the First Class to Morocco shampoo and conditioner on her, and then the serum. So now I'm going in with the hot comb, the kind that you put in the stove, okay? So I know sometimes I use the electric one, sometimes I use the stove hot comb. Um, it's just nothing like getting them edges in. Edges aren't mandatory, I know that. I say that a lot, edges are not mandatory, but sometimes you just want them a little slicky slick. So it is what it is, it's all up to you. I know a lot of y'all, when y'all see the hot comb, it probably take y'all back to the kitchen or the hair salon when y'all was younger or even still now. I know it takes me back to when my mom mom used to press my hair in the kitchen for Easter. <laughs> so now, of course, I'm going to go in and I'm going to trim those ends. They're not too bad, just a little, little thin, especially right there in that middle. So I am just going to go in and take that off. I'm using my old faithful shears that I got from herstrandsofhair.com. I'm not sure if they're in stock right now, but you might want to go check strands is spelled with a Z. I'll write it down at the bottom and I'll put the link in the box below for the products and the shears. Now I'm just going to go in and I am going to take those ends that did not reach from where I just cut. You want to always make sure you go in and get every strain that you possibly can, okay? You don't want to leave any behind because then you start seeing breakage and you're wondering why, but it's because you didn't get all of the ends. So question, when you were 11, 12 years old, how did you used to wear your hair? Like, I used to wear my hair kind of in, I used to, I used to beg my mom, I begged her when I was 11 to let me get waves. And when I was 12, she finally let me get waves. I used to get waves and scrunchies and all my girlfriends used to have like glitter and colors sprayed in their hair and she would not let me do that. You know, I was raised by an 80 something year old lady, okay? She, <laughs> she was not with it, okay? She was not with it, but all my friends got to have so much fun and you can only imagine how it felt me just being who I am today just knowing what I must wanted to be like when I was 12 years old when it came to my hair so I want to hear from you in the comments like how did you wear your hair I, I remember going to get my hair done in a page boy a page boy kind of looks like a a bob but kind of like curled under a little harder than that and I just be like my mom I don't want to get my hair like this no more I want to be just like my friends but <sighs> she was not here for it, but she did let me get waves after a while. I remember the first time I got waves, I got sick with the flu, and the whole first week I had my hair in waves, I had to stay home, and none of my friends at school knew that I had waves. Like, how corny is that, <laughs> okay? That's something I'll never forget. 
So what we're gonna do to Lay's hair today is I am going to part her hair across from ear to ear and I am going to give her two space buns and I'm gonna leave it out in the back. Now, right now I'm just parting it straight across and I'm also parting it down the middle so we can get the space bun started. Now, once I have everything all sectioned off, I'm just going to take some clips and I am going to separate each section so they do not get in my way. Now, I am just gonna go with this first section and I am going to put some braid bay on this part. So, if you watched my last video with the band two knots, if not, I'll put a link for you to watch that video too. But I use braid bay to slick those band two knots up. So I'm using the same thing here to get these ponytails right. Now, once I get that product all around this section, I am going to take a small tooth comb and I am going to slick it up with the comb. The reason I'm using a comb instead of a brush is because it's such a small space, so I just gotta get a little more um, intimate with these strands because if not, you'll end up pulling hair from the back and all of that, and you just wanna kinda get it as slick as possible. So that small tooth comb is gonna totally do the trick. Now I'm just going in, of course, with a ponytail holder that doesn't have any metal clasp. I'm definitely not using a rubber band. And I am going to go in and I'm going to just, don't do it as tight, like, you know, grip it as tight as possible. Just, I would go until you can't go no more, but don't do that like extra, extra loop where you like fighting and tussling with the last loop. I be trying so hard to get my ponytails to be nice and tight when I'm doing my own hair, but when I'm doing a client, I just like, I'll do this last loop, but some people will like go in and try to do one more and really be fighting their hair to get through and it's super annoying and it's too much tension on the hair, especially because we're doing space buns and that's a lot of tension really close to the edges. So now I'm taking this, you know, small tube comb and I'm just making sure that it is smoothed down as slick as possible. And now I'm going to go over there and do it on the other side. Now on the other side, just repeat the same exact steps. Put your braid bait down or whatever product you choose to use. Um, and then I am just slicking it down again with this small tooth comb and I'm gonna put it in the ponytail and I am going to move on to the next step. Now it's time to create the space buns. So first I am just gonna take this hair that is out and I am going to braid it down to the tip. Now, once you finish that braid, you are going to take it and you're gonna wrap it and make a bun out of your own hair or out of the client's own hair. 
okay? Then you're gonna take a hairpin or a bobby pin and make sure you just push it through the bun because you know we already talked about gangster hairpins. Once they in there, you don't wanna be fighting trying to find it and ruin the whole thing. So now I'm just gonna take some braiding hair. I took about three quarters of one package and I braided it down. It doesn't have to be super neat. And I just took a loop at the top and I'm gonna slip it over her natural bun and then I am just going to wrap it around. Now, when you get the hair to put over your hair, and that's optional too, guys. You can wear your own bun if you want to. Your, your bun might be a little meatier than Lay's was, or you might like your bun small because, you know, whatever your preference is, do that. But make sure that you get the hair to match your hair. With Lay, we went with number four because her hair is kind of like a off brown but a little lighter in the lighter family so we went with number four and it matched perfectly you don't want your hair to be super dark and then your hair is not matching you know what i'm saying so just make sure you get the perfect match because between the hair having a little texture to it and the color matching people are going to think that these are probably your buns <laughs> Now, of course, we're just going to go over to the other side and repeat all of those steps. Now, once they are in, just make sure they are even, like one might be lower than the other or one might be a little bigger. So just make sure they're even because the fact of where they are placed on the head, you are going to notice that right away and everybody who sees you is gonna notice it too. So now we're just gonna go ahead and hook the back up. I am going in and I am first, I am going to, you see how this part of her hair on the nape is shorter than the rest? Um, usually you're supposed to hit that when you trim him and I didn't even realize that it was this short so I'm glad that I went through there like that like you know I always go this way when I'm curling or flat ironing anyway and I am just going to make sure that this hair is trimmed too because if you don't trim your edges in the back and in the front they will break off or continue to break so make sure that whenever you're getting a trim or when somebody else is trimming your hair to get every part. So now I am about to go in with my flat irons, the 22 Titania in the color Smoke and Mirrors. They are in stock right now if you are looking for a flat iron in the market for one. We have them at DeeperThanHair.com. And I'm just going to go in and I'm just going to bend her hair just a tiny bit. I'm not going, you know, some people be like, you bumping the ends? Yes, yeah, so if that's what you think it is, that's what I'm doing, bumping the ends. I'm not going to overdo it. I'm just going to give it a little, little hint you know and um make sure you know we say this every video but make sure when you are flat ironing your hair just do one pass you do not need more than one pass on any section because you don't want to break the hair down and cause heat damage you just want to go one time and as you see one time is absolutely enough So now I'm just going to go ahead and finish pressing the back of her hair. Now, you know I usually would cut it up, but I just decided to show the whole thing. Um, this is dedicated to the people who call my channel relaxing a lot. So I'm going to just stop talking and let y'all watch me flat iron, and then I'll be back when it's done.
okay even though it's shining i'm going in with the glass brilliant shine and this is also in stock you could go grab it i'll put a link below um at deeper than and i'm just going to go ahead and comb through that and let you look at it from all angles Ooh, it's so beautiful huh <laughs> It's so cute. I feel like it's just so age appropriate. And to be honest, I would wear my hair like this too. I ain't even gonna hold you. Like, look how cute Lay is, okay? She's hyped too. <laughs> her and her sisters are just crazy. All we do is giggle and be silly and it just is what it is. And she just looks cute and she's ready for her week at school. And I'm just gonna give a little red a tat tat on the edges. You know I ain't overdo it, you know? And, um... Yep, that's that. So, you know, as always, I just want to thank everybody for watching my channel and being here. And I'm back to posting every Sunday, or at least I'm going to try. All right, y'all. See you next time.